Finally, arguments or objections to the argument's conclusion. Objection number eight. The argument is logically self-contradictory, for it says that everything has a cause, yet it concludes that there is a first uncaused cause. Response to number eight. Man, how do people think these things up? <laughs> Premise number one states that everything that begins to exist has a cause. Something cannot come into being without a cause. The premise does not require that something that is eternal and never had a beginning has a cause. Think again of Plato's distinction between that which always is and that which comes into being. The objector has been inattentive to the formulation of the first premise. Notice that this is not special pleading for God. The atheist has typically said that the universe itself is eternal and uncaused. Matter and energy have existed from eternity past and so have no cause of their being. The problem is that supposition has now been rendered dubious in light of the strong arguments in support of premise two that the universe began to exist. 